Britain and Sweden have signed a mutual defense pact, pledging to come to each other's aid if attacked. The agreement comes as Sweden carefully considers possible NATO membership. The Prime Minister and I have agreed to face challenges in peace, crisis and conflict together. And if either country should suffer a disaster or an attack, the United Kingdom and Sweden will assist each other in a variety of ways. Britain has made the same commitment to Finland. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the two countries have been rethinking their security policy after decades of military non-alignment. For two centuries, Sweden has followed a policy of neutrality, while Finland's long-term neutral status dates back to just after World War II, when Helsinki signed a treaty of friendship with Russia. But since joining the EU in 1995, both Finland and Sweden have forged close ties with NATO. Still, requesting membership would mark a major policy shift for the Nordic region and be a political game-changer for the alliance. Joining NATO would be not against anybody. We would like to maximize, maximize our security in way or another while thinking uh, membership in NATO. As support for joining NATO grows in both countries, Russia says it's keeping a close eye on the outcome. Of course, we observe with utmost attention everything that's connected to actions capable of somehow changing NATO's configuration near our borders. This is a subject for very, very careful analysis. The Kremlin has already warned of military and political repercussions if both countries join. Meanwhile, Sweden and Finland have been seeking assurances from NATO members they will have protection and support during the membership process, which can take up to a year, and does not include coverage by the alliance's Article 5 Mutual Defense Agreement.